Hi children, welcome back to social science class. How was your last week's TP and all? I hope all of you performed very well. Let us start by recollecting something from your previous year's class. In the previous year, you had already learned there are two forms of government. One is monarchy and another is democracy. In a monarchy, the king or queen ruled ruling the country. But in the case of a democracy, it is ruled by the elected representatives of the people. Otherwise, democracy is the government of the people, by the people or for the people. So, let us start the first chapter of politics, equality, on equality. What are the key elements of a democracy? The key elements of a democracy are people's participation, dispute resolution, equality and justice. The key elements of a democracy are people participation, dispute resolution, equality and justice. Among these elements, the most important element of a democracy is equality. So, in this chapter, we are going to study what is equality and how far it is applicable to all spheres of life. Let us start with our constitution. It guarantees all are equal before the law. That we can see only in the case of right to vote. That is, in our democracy, we have universal adult franchise. Then, what do you mean by universal adult franchise? In India, every citizen above the age of 18 have the right to vote, irrespective of their caste irrespective of the religion, irrespective of their gender, irrespective of their social and economic conditions. That means everyone who attained the age of 18 have the right to vote. It is known as universal adult franchise. It is applicable to all the people from every sections of life. That is, we had already read the story of Kanda. She is a domestic worker. She is going to cast vote. On that, in that queue, she happened to see other sections of the people who were in different spheres of life. But Kanda is astonishing and thinking whether this type of equality is applicable to all spheres of life. It is not applicable. In reality, we have inequality in all spheres of life. One of the most important sphere of inequality we are experiencing is in the caste system. So, we had already learned the story of Om Prakash Valmiki and Ansari Sam. Om Prakash Valmiki was a well-known Dalit writer, his famous autobiography was Judan. In his autobiography, Judan, he, he writes his experience during his childhood days. He was discriminated by his class teacher and headmaster. He was not at all allowed to sit along with his classmates. Rather than he was allowed to sweep the courtyard. And we had already learned the cases of Ansaris, Mr. and Mrs. Ansaris. They were about to rent apartment in a well-known city in India. But none of them are ready to offer them an apartment. Having they came to know that they are ha habit of having fish and meat. So if anyone is discriminated, on this way, on the basis of caste, that will affect our self-respect and that will 
affect their dignity also. Clear? Let us move on to equality in Indian democracy. The Indian constitution recognizes every person are equal. That means all people of the country irrespective of their caste, religion, gender or educational or social status all are equal before law. And the recognition of equality it includes some of the provisions by the constitution. Which are the provisions? First one is all are equal before law. All are equal means from the president to the domestic worker. They all are equal before law. The second provision recognized by the constitution is no one is discriminated on the basis of their caste, on the basis of their religion, on the basis of their place of origin. Next one is untouchability has been abolished and the next provision is, the last provision is every person has accessible to public places. These are the four provisions recognized by the constitution of India to ensure of equality in Indian democracy. In order to implement these provisions, there are two ways used by the government. One is through laws. The next one is through government programs and schemes. One of the most important steps taken by the government to ensure equality is the midday meal program. It was started in 2001. Tamil Nadu was the first state which introduced this midday meal program. Then, what do you mean by this midday meal program? This means providing the children of all elementary schools with cooked lunch. It was a great benefit from the part of the government because there are certain benefits of this program. Why after this midday meal program, the enrollment of the children had increased very well. At the same time, teachers have the opinion that their attendance has also improved a lot after the government has introduced this midday meal program. And it reduces the caste prejudice because all the children of all sections of life, they are sitting together and having their lunch. So, it reduces the caste prejudices. And at the same time, or another benefit of this midday meal program is, it reduces the hunger of the poor. Often, they are coming to school and they cannot concentrate. Why? Because most often, their stomach are empty. Okay? Next, we can move to issues of inequality in other democracies or issues of inequality in other democracies. Inequality is an issue not only in India but in all democratic countries all over the world. They are experiencing this type of inequality. For example, let us talk about the example of United States of America where the African Americans are highly discriminated. They were not allowed to accessible to all the public places where the white Americans enter. While they are traveling by bus, 
they have to sit either in the back side or they have to get up while a white American enter into the bus. One such incident that happened in America was the incident of Rosa Park. She refused to offer her seat to a white American. This led to civil rights movement in this United States of America. And later it led to the issue of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It prohibited this Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibited discrimination on the basis of caste, on the basis of religion and on the basis of national origin. So, whether we are educated or uneducated, that doesn't matter. We have to change our attitude. That is very important. Then only we can ensure equality in all spheres of life. So, you should inculcate such a habit of ensuring equality to all people in all spheres of life. Thank you children.